Hello everyone, and in this episode we're going to be learning how to make engines, just like how we did uh, in the last episode. We made these uh, okay, I guess, looking uh, flat cars with wood on them. Today we're going to be learning how to make our own engines. I'm going to be doing it the, well, pretty much the exact same way as doing the car, the, the rolling stock. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take, in fact, most of the um, engines that you find on the ANG are literally built off of this. Okay, I'm being serious. I'm being 100% serious. Everything that's in the game, all the engines that are in the game as of this video going up are built off of this model. So you guys can build anything off this model as well. Um, so basically the same way we're going to do it is we're going to open it up. If you haven't seen the tutorial video before this, I would go watch it so you have a better understanding of what I'm doing. So just like the rolling stock, everything can be technically be deleted except for the advanced well, DCC, locomotive script. Is rolling stock base? You're going to need the base. The couplers, the gliders, and the functions and properties. Uh, the direct. I'm gonna first. Actually, no. I won't. I'm gonna talk about this later. So basically, we can do the same thing with union and all that. We can just delete pieces that we don't need. The bell. For what I do, if I think I need a piece later on, I just move it off to the side area. Like the directional lights. We only need one of them, technically, but I'll keep them for the distance. I'll teach you how those work later in the video. It took me a while to figure it out, but I figured it out, so. Hmm. Yeah, the windows. Oh, I deleted the cab. Hmm. Oh, well. You know what? We're going to make a slug unit. That's what we're going to do. Uh, I don't want these decals. What's the white from? Why is it called white? I want to know what the white. Where is that? Up here. Huh? What the? Why is this deleted when I hit? Oh! It's gray! Whoever made this, it's called gray. Okay? See? That is gray, not white. Okay? Not white. It's gray. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just it's gray. Um, trying to remember, do slug units have this? No, I don't think so. If they do, well then, sex for you. I'm going to build it this way. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And so, I don't want to make it up. I'm gonna just scale it this way. So that goes to the front. Okay, go. Um, yeah, that, this honestly looks okay to me, and we can maybe extend it up a little bit, and then we can put this, scale this in, so just so we can see the numbers, in which you can duplicate these blocks called cab number, and put them anywhere, oh, oopsie, probably should extend it out, like, just tad, and then move it, just tad, Actually, no. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that there. There. And then we'll also go ahead and put it there. Get rid of the one in the back. Hopefully, no. Oh, well. We'll just rotate it. And we'll go with another one. And put one in the back. Okay, and then we can take the funnels, and we can put it there. Here, I'm going to put another one. I'm just being messing around. Um, we'll put the bell and put it underneath the engine somewhere. Just put it right there. Because why not? Um, and the directional lights, how these work is... And how they light up and all that is by orientation. So all you have to do is to make rear headlights is you take the front headlights and just reverse them. 
That's literally all you do. So I hit duplicate and then reverse it. And you know what? So that we know which which one's the front, we're going to build it differently and we're going to be like that. Actually, no, this should be the I think that should be the front, honestly. Huh. Hmm. Should that be the front? Meh, I don't care. Let's just continue on. Is there any other things I should... Oh, yeah, I probably should talk about the property stuff. So if you can scroll down to the function functions, you don't have to worry about unless you're messing with those, like adding bells. We're changing how the horn works. Um, and that stuff is kind of complicated, so unless you actually know what you're doing, don't touch them. Uh, and here is where you can touch all you want. On the uh, official guide, which can be found in the description, it, I do believe it tells you what all these things do. Acceleration is how fast it accelerates. Constant address leaves that at zero. Um, DCC address, that's what engine you want it to start as. If an, and, uh, and then we'll skip down here to unique DCC address. If that's true, which means it's checked, then if it spawns in with the number uh, 1425 and it sees that another engine is numbered 1425, it will add a number to its um, count until it finds one that's empty, like it's not taken. Because if you uncheck this, then since I have both of these set as 1425, at this moment, um, then when I type in 1425 for one of them, they'll both move at the same time in the same way because it thinks they're the same thing. Um, just like how you would do in a real, if you have actual DCC uh, trains in real life. Deacceleration is obviously the same thing as acceleration, but deceleration. Direction reversed, leave that unchecked unless you want to reverse the direction. Uh, max power, that's the power, like how strong it can pull. Uh, max speed is the max speed. I don't know what it's in. If I'm guessing studs per second. I like for good speeds. I like to leave it at 12 or maybe um, 13 or 14. Normally we leave them at 12. Uh, advanced weld just welds everything together. Locomotive script you need. To, oh yeah, then the base is probably a good thing to have. The base contains your sound effects. And your uh, these forces. Let me go ahead and get rid of these. Why are they white? They're red. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but the forces are what move the engine. So we'll call this uh, just slug. Um, and if you want to make your oh here we'll put it over on the uh, siding. With the other cars. And just same thing with the uh, rolling stock. If you want to add something, just add something to it. Just add a part. Make sure it's anchored and uncanned collide and just put it on it. Without, there can't be any models inside. Unless, unless you change some stuff around. Don't put any models inside of it. So that, I think that's going to do it for uh, this episode. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what the next one's going to be just yet, but feel free to message me your suggestions on what you want to learn or any questions you have. I'll see you in the next episode.